Hello and welcome to today's devotion. We are in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, and we're going to be looking at uh, verses 54 through 56. Um, This has just come off the teaching that we did talking about the Holy Spirit, being baptized in the Holy Spirit, receiving the Holy Spirit, um, being baptized in fire, what that means um, with regards to fidelity of that commitment. And that brings us then to verse 54. Let's pray. We'll get into it. Thank you, Father, for bringing us together once again to go into your word. As we go into your word, please open up our hearts and minds that we may know you, walk closely with you, turn to you in time of every need, and find our rest and hope in your presence, in your promises, and in your faithfulness. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Chapter 12, verse 54. Jesus also said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, right away you say, A storm is coming. And so it does. And when the south wind is blowing, you say, it's going to be hot, and it is. Hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky, but why don't you know how to interpret this present time? What Jesus is referring to is a spiritual truth, a spiritual um, time of God in the heavenlies. He uses um, a comparison by saying in the physical world, you're able to interpret what's going on. You can see ahead of time what's taking place and, and you can make predictions and you can ascertain what the truth is regarding what's happening in the physical realm. In the spiritual realm, however, not so much. And this is an important, it's, it's not a, a um, it's not, a, it's not a, a, a put down in any way. What it is, is it's simply a declaration, if you will, of who he is and what he's able to do. Um, last devotion, we talked about the Holy Spirit. And when the Spirit, when we receive the Spirit of God, and not everybody, that, 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 start, that can kind of freak people out. Um, baptism, if you're going to be baptized, depending on your denomination, how you practice it, can be very tame. Very tame. You have a nice cake and food afterwards there's cards involved many times it's not tame nobody goes and swears allegiance to the military and then has a reception it's a very um it's the beginning of a very dramatic experience christianity is not to be tamed religion tames it puts it in nice little bite-sized portions, puts it in order so it's not too, uh, too disturbing. But that's not how baptism works, not Jesus' baptism. When we receive the Holy Spirit, we are given new life. We are born from above. The common translation is born again, which... That fits, that works, because you literally are born again when his spirit quickens your spirit. Born from above is just as good because the spirit comes from the spirit realm and quickens our spirit within us. And it is our spirit that allows us to know and discern this, what is happening in the spiritual realm. This is something that plays out When Peter is baptized in the Spirit, it's Pentecost, he addresses the crowd 
This is in um, Acts chapter 2. And begins to quote prophecy. He says, and he's quoting this, And it will be in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all people. Pour out. And we talked about baptism. That you can either be immersed by going into the water or you can be immersed by standing other, under the water and have it completely go over you. I use the analogy of, the, of uh, Niagara Falls. He will pour out, baptize his spirit on all people. Then your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Which means you will be able to speak into this world things that are taking place in a spiritual dimension. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. I will even pour out, uh -huh, there's that word, baptize my spirit on my servants in those days, both men and women, and they will prophesy. I will display wonders in the heaven above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and a cloud of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the great and glorious day of the Lord comes. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Peter quotes this not as a well-prepared presentation, but as he utters the words that the Spirit gives him, he is able to take and discern the times. He is able to see what's taking place in the heavenly realms. And this is why when we take a look at what we read in chapter 12, verse 54 through 56, not th I'm sorry, not this is why. This is what Jesus is referring to. That you can certainly see things in the physical realm, good, but not in the spiritual realm. Not yet. Of course, this teaching takes place in a broader context of a lot of teaching. And so it just doesn't stand on its own. It's part of a wide body in which Jesus repeatedly says that he will give us his Holy Spirit, that he, will, that he will ask the Father and the Father will give us, and he will baptize us. He will baptize us in the Spirit. And we talked about last time that if a person is swearing you in, they're already part of that particular group or movement that's bringing you in. Jesus is already part of, of God's family who's bringing you in. So, this, these two verses, three verses, 54, 5, and 6, is reinforcing all of Jesus' ministry in a way that's saying at one point in time, once you have the Spirit, you will be able to begin to interpret what's happening in the heavenly realms just as you can interpret what's happening in the physical realm. Well, next time when we get together, we're going to take a look at verse 57 and that will, 57 through uh, 59, and that will conclude uh, chapter 12. Until then, may the peace of God be with you. Let's close in prayer. Lord, thank you for your word. Your word is truth. Your word is life. And we thank you for your spirit that continues to move among us, restore our soul, that gives us your life, makes us one with you. May through your spirit that dwells within us, we glorify who you are in all that we say, all that we do, and all that we think. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.